Yeah. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank uh, Professor Weidman for securing me an issue in this conference since I was a latecomer. This is the title of my talk, how I move forward. Uh, we have particle duality and the Hamilton particle equation. Uh, right, yeah? In uh, John Bell's book, uh, Speakable and Unspeakable in Quantum Mechanics, he asked the question, what is it waves in wave mechanics? In the case of water waves, it's surface of the water that waves uh, with sound waves, the pressure of the air oscillates. In the case of waves of wave mechanics, we have no idea what's waving and don't ask questions. I suggest that we consider the possibility that it is the Hamilton's action function that waves, more specifically. In, um, in quantum mechanics, the action function for a free relativistic particle is described by the quantum hamilton jacobi equation, which you see here. Yes. The particular solution of this equation is normally identified with the uh, identified with the pre uh, particle is normally specified as s equal to minus uh, et plus p x, which is clearly a non-waving entity. It transpires that apart from this solution, hamilton jacobi equation also permits solutions in the form of breezers, spinning solitons, displaying simultaneous particle-like and wave-like behavior. The de Broglie waves thus acquires a clear deterministic meaning of being simply a wave-like excitation of the action function. Moreover, in this formulation, the action function becomes a, an agency providing superluminal communication between a particle in a field-free region and a field in a disjoint region, which is actually the Aronoff bomb effect. Those whom, yes, those whom I succeeded to intrigue a little are most welcome to visit my poster. Okay. No, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I know. Thank you very much.